Hello, today we are going to make a paper flower. First, we're going to use, we're using um, coffee filters. I've got four coffee filters right here taped to this. And we're going to paint the coffee filters with uh, food coloring. I made my own water paints with food coloring and water. And I've got four different colors. I have red, yellow, blue, and green. And now, what color do you think I should start with first? Should I start with the green, or blue, yellow, or red? Let's start with the red, okay? And we're just going to dot it on here just like that. See that paper will soak all that color up just like that. I want to get it all covered, my area covered right here. You want to make sure you get enough color on there to go through all four of the uh, coffee filters because you're going to be using all four of them to make this flower. Make sure you get it on there real good with enough color. And you can do as much as you want. You can change the colors or you can keep it red, keep it yellow, blue, or green. It doesn't matter. Now I'm going to go to blue. And I'm going to put the blue right here in this area. Remember to put as much on there that will go through all four filters, to color all four filters. Now I have tape right here, so it is going underneath the tape there, so that's good. And you can do as big of an area or as small of an area as you want to do with each color. I like for mine to be very colorful. We get enough. And yes, let it drip. It'll be fine. Just try not to get it on your clothes because it is food coloring and it will stain clothes. So you might either want to wear um, old clothes or um, an old t shirt over good clothes. Okay, now I'm going to start with the go with the green here. And a big portion of it in the middle. I'm going to do green. I love making paper flowers. They are very pretty. And I've made them at school at the center. Make sure I get enough color on there to go all through. Four coffee filters. Okay. And the last color. Do you remember what the other color is? This is the last one I have. Yellow. So I'm going to do the rest of this area with the yellow. And it will it down into the other colors, but that's fine. It just makes it more colorful to me. Because yellow is a lighter color, you may want to put extra color, yellow color, yellow food color in, in the water to make it bright. we go. So after you're done painting this you'll need to let it dry before you can make your flower. I've already got some already done right here that are already different colors. 
that are already dry. And what you want to do is you want to pinch it in the middle like this and see how it looks right now. And then you want to fold it over like this. And then you just want to fold the paper out like this. Anyway, you can even fold it again like this and have the petals out. See? Looking a little bit like a flower. And then you could um, tape something at the bottom, like um, a pipe cleaner, a green pipe cleaner, and that could be the stem. You could weave it around at the bottom here, and there you have your flower. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you will be able to make pretty flowers. Thank you. Goodbye.